Uh, that this is Damba Samuel from the Uganda Institute of Bank and Financial Services. Uh, I work with the registrar. And then the, the Uganda Institute of Banking, uh, we deal with the courses that you introduce your child or your daughter or your, your son to the banking as a sector and the financial services courses. We have a range of different courses like uh, the Chartered Banker course, which is a three-year course that uh, introduces your child into the banking as a sector. Uh, the, the, the three years... Each, each year is a level, and at the end of every level, a child gets to graduate. It's not mandatory that you have to do all the three levels before you can attain an award. Uh, level one, your child or daughter will uh, graduate as a certified professional banker and attain uh, the level to start working in the bank. Then as, as they feel the urge to upgrade, they can come back for level two, that's the supervisory level. And then the third level, which is the ex-co, the MDs, and the CEO, the top management in the financial institutions. The Chartered Banker is a premier course where your, your child can study in a, in a year and attain the achievement. Well, out of the six modules, your child is not supposed to do all the six at once. They can decide according to the, uh, uh, the, uh, the amount of money is around and pay for a module. So which kind of students? Qualify for this. Uh, we welcome everyone, a uh, student from A level with at least two principal passes at, at A level plus a, a credit in math and English at O level. Plus, even professionals who are already working with the, with the banks can also, also welcome to the institute. So, how do you help them to finance? Just in case someone doesn't have the finances to be, but wants to join your institute, how do you help such a student? Now, to help the students who, 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 are, who, have, who, who don't have the finances, we do accept installment payment. A parent can decide to make payments in installments as the child is progressing. Yes, please. You're welcome. Now, Samuel Damba, you can stop buying and financial services. Yes, you might, be, you might also be wondering where we are located. We are located on Plot 10, Uganda Road, after CPS, uh, or exactly immediately opposite Uganda Road Court. That's where the institute is located. And feel free to we also visit our website, uh, which is www.uibfs.or.ug. We'll be ready to serve you. How can one get, if I want to apply, like physically, how can you? Uh, if, you if someone wishes to apply physically, you can pass by the institute, but we also do off-site applications where you just contact us and then we get to share the information and details needed through our website plus the application process and it's done uh, off-site. Uh, uh, this semester is going to start on 13th Feb 2023 and then our second semester will start on 5th September 2023. Feel free to join any of, the, of those se se uh, semesters. Yes. Good evening, my name is Sharon Nyabonyo. I work with Academic Guidance. We publish newspapers and directories. The newspapers, we distribute over 3,000 schools in Uganda. We are located in Kampala. Kampala Road on the post office, annex suit 3, 3, room 3355A. These newspapers we distribute over 3,000 schools and also do marketing for most schools. The academic guidance helps students in making career choices and also do career talks when a school is having a problem with a student. We normally talk to those students and they get back to in their right tracks. And we do marketing for universities, tertiary institutions, nursing schools and companies. People have normally partnered with us, the director of, uh, director, uh, Directorate of Industrial Training, Deja University, Bale SS, Bale High, those are the people I've always partnered with, and also Macquarie University Business School, they've been our daily customer. We encourage schools to always subscribe for our newspapers, and we, we bring it to your school. We go to schools individually. Uh, 
we visit schools. There are career talks or like normally a school invites us then we go there maybe like Bale High inv invites us then we go there individually we talk to students and also normally time for selections like this is going to happen next week we are going to be there as academic guidance we shall be selling newspapers directories and the marking guides and visitations also, we sell our newspapers to parents who have visited our school. When the school has told us there's visitation, like Buddha says, always invites us, then we can sell newspapers from there. We, right now we have ordinary level and the advanced level. Lower primary. The kindergartens we don't have. Primaries we have, but today we don't have yet. Yes. Uh, my name is Patrick Matovulvega, business banker with Stambik Bank, Freedom City. We are so happy and privileged to be at this this expo for the schools, and we are happy that we've been able to have a chance to meet you people at this this occasion. It's been a great opportunity that I've been given under Stambic Bank to uh, orchestra what we have at, at our disposal as a bank. Under the education sector we've solved so much to deliver to our parents, our stakeholders, most of the schools and especially, especially we have the what called the school loans, we've got the school fees loans which can help the parents in the short term. A great, great range of products we have with Stambic Bank. We've got like a women Stambic for her, which helps the women's CVPs. And basically when we talk about schools, we have got what called the flex loans for the school proprietors, which mitigate short term financial obligation to the schools. It's a matter of you having an account with Stambic Bank, the school fees are paid by, by Stambic Bank, and we just look at that, and then a parent, a, a school proprietor can come and we give that person a loan. Also, we have got short-term loans for our dear parents, our pet teachers, and so all people who work with us, we call it cash advances. This is a short-term loan just for 30 days, in the shortfall in, in business, in, in, in income, you can come. We give you a cash advance, it's paid after 30 days. But all that pain that you're banking with us. It's again, we have what you call the salary loans, salary loans for, for, for all the salary earners. So in case you have been working with any bank, you can come and get a salary loan, both new and new to bank and top-ups. And the, what is so good that we have a current running, that we have extended tenure, we can give you up to 84 months in case of having a salary loan with us. So parents who are out there need salary loans who have taken back school children, we can come and negotiate with us the, the loans for our dear brothers and sisters who are going back to school. We've had so many products regarding education. We had what the school, the, the laptop loan, whereby we could advance laptops to our parents, through to our brothers and sisters at school through the schemes of getting loans and then we give them these laptops and they pay in installments other than looking for lap sum amount which some of us could not afford to have had. We've got another option like so many other options like we've got the payment systems, we've got the flex wallet which is another good system of paying both banked and non-banked clients. So it's another system which can help us to pay school fees, it can help us to advance payments, pay platforms or pay bills on this platform which is school school pay i mean flex pay it's a very good platform uh, at for to have this uh, flex pay we just need to have here a national id and a phone regardless of type of phone whether digital or the analog still it works for you and you're able to access these platforms uh, again i can talk about the the requirements what are requirements for for having a loan with stambic bank one you need to have Sarah with us. You receive Sarah with us with Stambic Bank. You visit any branch, you present your request for a loan, and we are able to give you a loan. And on a very good note, when it comes to the ladies, 
the interest for late is the lowest I think if I can turn market it's as 15 point, point 0.5 all ladies under this uh, in banking Sambic bank you get those loan at that rate and processing fees is we are having a running lot of umlaka stress it's called umlaka stress with school fees we give you loans at no processing fees you no charge you no processing fees for i mean processing fees for all loans which are being processed within a period of time so we call upon all our friends brothers and sisters our parents all our customers new to bank new and new to bank and already existing you can visit any branch seek for these products and you get be solved within the shortest time possible uh, maybe apart from that we've got also more products we've got the circle prepositions the circles out there we can also lend out to circles your parents you are in circles you can come and borrow money within the circle and get also financed in the circle through the circle prepositions so also if your parents you are not banking with us but you have a circle the circle can come and borrow it from some big bank then the advances loans to its members and so doing school fees problems can be sorted out as soon as possible i would like to thank you very much for giving this opportunity but we look forward to seeing you again and coming to our branches our point of sales for more information and getting these products from our bank. Thank you very much. Uh, again, for laptops, for sale and to go a product, it's a parent who comes in as picks a, a laptop loan under the requirement that his parent must be banking with us. He comes and gets a laptop, but this time we don't give you cash. We give the laptop to, our, to the student and the parent pays as a loan, but in installments equivalent the amount of the laptop cost. So that the requirement still the parents come through the same process. Requirements for a Sally Anna is very simple. You come with a pay slip, appointment letter, confirmation letter, and letter of undertaking from the employee to ensure us that this person is employed and is working and also we are go ahead and we advance the, the laptop to the criteria is just looked at it and we verified and you're able to get the laptop to them. Welcome. <laughs> Okay, so I'm called uh, Charles Owino. I'm part of the Presidential Industrial Hub uh, team. I work with the State House on this project. And uh, this is a presidential initiative. Uh, what the president promised his people that I would set up these industrial hubs uh, per region. And uh, what we mean per region is that every sub-region of Uganda has this industrial hub. Now, what basically happens in these industrial hubs is that it is a skilling center. They are skilling centers where uh, children, or let's say youth, uh, between the age brackets of 18 to 35 are trained in a number of skills. And these skills include carpentry, uh, they include uh, metal uh, fabrication and welding, they include tailoring, they include uh, hairdressing and saloon management, and of course there are other trades that are going to be added as time goes on. Now, for one to qualify to join this uh, industrial hub, you only need to be a Ugandan within those age brackets of sound mind, meaning you are somebody who can be trained and you are willing to learn. And uh, we pick people from the streets, we pick uh, children who are disadvantaged, orphans, those who have dropped out of school, because our requirement does not include education. The requirement is the ability to learn. Now, how do we come up with those who join this industrial hub? Now, since I told you that they are regional, every sub-region, let's say for example Karamoja, we have a presidential industrial hub in Napak, just by the roadside. Now, 
every district and municipality in Karamoja has what we call the industrial hub committee. There are eight in a district. These are the people who work with the local communities to come up with the list of those to benefit from that hub based on uh, their vulnerability. We don't go for children of those who can afford to pay, but we go for those who cannot, whose only uh, means of survival is probably to ask people around or to become beggars and what. Those are the people we get. And uh, the first intake graduated this January, and the stories are there for people to learn. Now, we have 19 of them in the whole country. For, I've just told you Napak is for Karamoja. We have Soroti is for Teso region. We have the one that is in uh, just behind Lira University, that is in Lira, that is for Lango sub region. We have the one after Unyama NTC in a village called Oding village, that is for Acholi sub region found in Gulu. We have one in Ajumani, that is for the Mandi uh, sub region. We have the one for West Nile sub region, is found in Zombo, uh, in the place called Zeus. We have the one for Bunyoro sub-region, it is found in Masindi. We have the one for uh, the Toro sub-region, it is found in Chenjojo. We have one for what we call the Renzori, it is found in Toroko. We have one in Kasese for Kasese. We have one for Ankole, it is based in uh, Mbarara, Roshozi. You branch off from Bihairoi, then you go to Roshozi. Mm. Yes, it is simple. We, we have application forms, and these application forms are available in those hubs, but they are also available at the district headquarters. Because at the district headquarters, the hub committees include uh, technical committee, cow and the commercial officer, that is for technical. The political group, we have uh, the chairperson LC5 and uh, chairperson of the ruling party, NRM. We have the security that includes the RDC and DISO. We have uh, the other group of uh, the youth, the district youth uh, leader, then we have uh, the, the, the women uh, chairperson of the district. All those people together, they form the district hub committee. So you can either go to the district and they will help you understand and get to know how to apply, but we have application forms. Or if you are near the hub, you can simply go to the hub, the managers are there, and then they will guide you through the process. Not as yet, not as yet, but we shall move towards that. Yet, yet, yet. And um, the products, you, you, you can be amazed that within, because our training takes six months, and within six months they are able to make the things you have seen here, the things you are seeing behind here. Some of them have made very wonderful uh, tenge chart, shirts, they have made uh, sofa sets, you have seen them, they have fabricated the metal things here, you have seen. The saloon group, you have seen the bridal uh, preparation and the manufacture soap, jig and other you know, items that are required within the saloon. So to me, this is the real deal for the real people who need them. Yeah, that is what I can tell you for now. Amanya uh, Gangi, Zenyombi Sadat in Aviram district, Yevutambala. Nafunom Kisagun on Nalinda, you are Kanga Sina, you are Kola. Nafunom Kisagun on Zewangi, Yaita, Ita. Now, from Mustomesafidabadabitumesa, <laughs> Because you spent so many hours in class, no, but can you produce something? Can you make a shot? Can you make a shot? Uh,
Wafuni na mukiso gukubo muri mugo na gusto wa lokola guna guna wage na mukani ka kuna muri mugo kani ka kwa muri mugo mtu chech kuru tuni zakuwa na abona tu ingo tu ingo ina muri mugo mtu amani yanzi nyumbi sada tinga mvira butamba district. My name is I'm called Paliel Marvin. I came from West Nile, particularly Madiokolo district. And I joined Presidential Industrial Hub under youth, youth training last year from 3rd August. Really at the school we, we learned a lot and we have come up with the, the, the tukutuku that we have made ourselves from that school. And in that school really, the school is free of charge for the youths. Yeah, we, I, we did it with the help of our instructor. He, he helped us in doing it. Yeah. We use it like for transportation of people. It can only carry two people. And we are also trying to have that mind of bringing the one of disabilities and the elderly people. We are going to modify very soon and it will come like this. It is called Tukutuku, as its usual name. So the materials we normally we made it from these ordinary mine steel plates that they sell they sell for making doors and the hollow sections that they sell for making windows and doors. That's where we may we 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 buy and we build the board and the, we bought the engine. We fixed, we did everything. It is efficient. It can ride. It goes about 140 kilometers. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, my name is Claire Komakech. I'm the business development manager, Vision Group. And uh, we came up with the idea of a uh, new Vision Education Expo after um, COVID-19. Uh, one of the sectors that was most hit was uh, the education sector after, after health. Many of the learners were out of school for two years, close to two years. And we felt that we needed to create a platform where different stakeholders in, in education come together. So we came up with an idea where we're going to bring uh, students, parents, and um, we came up with a theme of where the world of education and the world of employment meet. And so we feel that like in this expo, we are bringing together the students, the different stakeholders to have discussions uh, about the new the changes that were happening in education, the new curriculum, uh, skilling. We felt that uh, the old curriculum was not equipping students enough so with uh, lifelong skills. And so we've invited different stakeholders from uh, technical institutions, uh, the state house, the different projects so that they can have these discussions. Um, hi everyone, my name is Lorraine Tukahira. I am the marketing manager at Vision Group. This is the second day of the New Vision Education Expo. You have seen the turn up is really good. We are targeting different, different people from the children, the students, to the parents, to sponsors, to exhibitors. The entire purpose of this expo is to link the students to basically to build their dreams. Um, we have different exhibitors who are giving students opportunity to, to grow in terms of um, their professions or where they want to be later on in life. So if you're not able to 
continue to university, let me say, you can still partake into you, you can still partake in different skills and grow your knowledge or grow your talent. Um, next door we have the state house. In, um, is it the, I think the industrial hub. Yeah, you see there there are students who are interested in carpentry. There is um, uh, design, makeup. Um, fashion and fashion the fashion industry so basically you come and you think of where you want to be and how do you get there so this is um, the opportunity to network to connect to ask all the questions they want to ask and then we help them get where they want to be Okay, so this is the first the first expo. Um, so in the future, we want to take it to different parts of the country. But at the moment, um, at least I was able to interact with people who came from as far as Gulu, from all over the country. So it's it's a start for now. But as we grow, we'll expand it to the other parts of Uganda. Yeah, we're looking at uh, a number of uh, stakeholders. Uh, we have uh, the different universities, schools, all the way from early learning, kindergarten, uh, primary schools, secondary schools. Uh, we have a number of universities represented here. We have banks, we have insurance, we have um, people who are selling products, yeah? uh, stationery, stationery shops. And we also have a number of uh, NGOs. The NGOs have come on board to to show what they are, the different projects that they are doing uh, in the education sector. So we we have also those who have products, products as uh, students take to school. We have um, we have those who are selling milk, those who are selling rice, those who are selling uh, water, all these things that are needed for for school. My name is Fiona Tamale, Events Manager, Vision Group. Um, realizing is we are on a learning curve. Uh, this idea was born in the boardroom, just like all our expos, all our events. They are born out of new vision, um, should I say special, special projects. They come from a pullout and they are unpacked into an event. They are brought alive, should I say. So realizing objectives, yes, we have, um, should I say we've started from uh, a back to school perspective to see, to also learn what parents are interested in at this time, this uh, rush hour of going back to school. So I can't say we've achieved all our objectives because we're also learning. But the main objective is to not have this stereotyping of my child, you should have a degree, you should have a diploma in your life. That's why we have lots of vocationals signing up here. We have, we have to show that um, vocational is also very good skilling and you can even earn more money or the same money as a degree holder. So um, that was the main objective. That's why we have the theme of where education meets the world of work. That, that, so, so we are unpacking that um, with our different stakeholders, uh, the exhibitors who have signed on, who are talking about um, different things, uh, not just scholarships, but mainly skilling. So that was the main objective, but um, we can't, uh, we can't um, achieve our objective at the first expo. So we are learning along the way, and, and those learnings are going to help us with the next expo. Yes. Yes, annually. Uh, we are yet to establish when exactly on the calendar because the first quarter is reserved for a different kind of stakeholder. So I can't give you a date now, but it's going to be an annual event. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, you're so good. 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 Oh, you're so good.